Hey guys, Kid Guru here. It's another Vista quick tip for today. Uh, I've been a little back in my videos and Vista videos, so I thought I should do a lot, uh, try and get as many as I can in today. Anyways, today's a, this uh, Vista quick tip is how to get your menu, uh, menu buttons, or, you know, menu, uh, yeah, I guess you say menu buttons in general, uh, in the menu view. Or, okay, your start menu, your start uh, buttons in a menu view. What I mean by that is, like, these, you're here, type of, to get them in a, I guess you should say list view, but it's it's labeled menu, but I call it, I like to call it list because it just makes more sense. Or arrow view, or as an A R R O W view, you can call it whatever you want. But basically, you see how this has that little arrow here when I go to recent items and I go over it and it has all my things right here, right? Uh, so basically, let's say I want to get uh, what if I want to get uh, for example, let's say I always use my uh, let's say uh. Hmm. I guess we'll just go with documents, right? So let's say you know documents is important. Rather than clicking on it and opening it to look at all of these uh, folders and stuff right there, you can always. Uh, this is what I like to do. To, it saves time and it's, you know a little bit more productive. And you know if you can get Vista more productive and stuff like that, uh, you know it makes your pro. It makes uh makes the operating system easier. Makes a lot of stuff easier to handle and get getting around a lot quicker. You know, in total time, it saves a lot. So, anyways, uh, I've co tried to cover this before, but uh, I mean, I've covered where to go before, but I, I didn't mention this in exact. Basically, you just go to your start menu, go to properties, go to start menu tab, and then you're on, whatever you're on, just go to customize. And I've showed you this menu before, but I haven't talked. It wasn't about this, but basically, as you see here, it has computer display as link or display as menu. Now. For example, you just find what you what you want and that's in there. Uh, so I'm looking for, for example, documents right here. Now you can, if you don't want to display it, you can check that. If you want to display it how it is by now, just put it as a link. If you want to display it as a menu, just click that and hit OK and then hit Apply and then hit OK. Now when you go to it, just click it, go up. Now you see it has an arrow. Click it, and everything's right there. So much, much easier to load. You know, uh, kind of more XP. I like I like the way XP had the arrows on um, not everything, but you know, I'm just used to that rather than uh, you know clicking it and going to a whole other window. Much, much more faster uh, if you ask me. Now you know I'm just used to this because of how XP had it with their. Ah, uh, uh, I don't want to. You know, I'm just used to it more. Like for example, this right here. I don't. I don't like the way that this is viewed right here. I'm going to see if I can find a way to change that. So that might be an up upcoming tutorial. But like I said, it's much more productive for me to access it this way. And go to it and then just click that, you know, rather than going into the window and clicking it. But yeah, that's just another way you can customize the start menu and, I mean, you know, make it a little bit more productive. And not only that, guys, if you search around in here, sorry, I keep on clicking it on accident. If you search around in here, oh, I got it. Sorry, guys. If you search around in uh, this customize tab, you can find more than just that. You can, you know, you can remove items. You can even go all the way down and sort the programs the way you want, display them how you want. Uh, if you have, you know, I have stuff like this. You can add them. Like I don't have a printer attached to this laptop, so I just uncheck that run command. You can put it in. You can put the search in or not. You know, really, really. You can even, uh, uh, like I said, really, really helpful. And you can even. Uh, put the number of recent programs as you see here these programs up here I believe yeah right here these are my recent programs and you can change how many you want mine's at 8 right now and here you can even uh, um, show on the start menu your default browser and email and for example I'm using Windows Mail and F Mozilla Firefox so guys that's all for today just wanted to do a quick tip on that you know great customized start menu I've talked about a little about customizing your start menu before but I just went a little bit more in de depth but like I said it's only a quick tutorial just to show you how to do that uh, so anyways guys thanks for watching and I hope it helped you out uh, comment rate subscribe to the channel if you like my videos and again thanks for watching